two things. One is my own personal experience with the system, uh, which I often describe uh, when I'm out there meeting people. And my own educational experience, I guess, is a way to put it in northern Saskatchewan. Although that's many years ago, the way I framed it is in terms of overall success, particularly of Aboriginal students, there, there hasn't been much change. So that begs the question, why? Why is that? So this opened that door for me, that opportunity to, to have a look at the why a little bit closer. Although I've recognized certainly different challenges that, that contributed to that, uh, I guess, lack of success. But uh, this is certainly more in depth. And the second part, probably more importantly, is in my previous role with the RCMP, we did a lot of work more so in previous or more recent years working with communities in terms of consultation, community engagement as we call it, uh, youth engagement. And that essentially means that we're going right down to the level where service is being provided and asking people what's important to them in terms of, in that world, policing. And how do we make your community safer? Where historically we always dictated. We always said, you know, we're the police service, we're a national police service and based on our experience and our size and who we are, we'll tell you what we feel needs to happen in your community to make it safer. But over time we recognized that it wasn't working, not to the level that it needed to. And so we recognized along the way that we need to engage communities. We need to engage individual citizens in terms of how they viewed their community, number one, the challenges that were there, and then how collaboratively we could then uh, start working at solutions. So really, you know, take away policing and insert the word education, and really the, the elements are the same.